Hey everybody, hope your day is going well. We are back with another reaction. Neil Diamond, Brother Loves Traveling Salvation Show. And this was a request by the Folkman. Thank you so much for this request and donation. And this title on its own is already telling a story. And it's already, for me anyway, raising questions and intriguing. And, you know, that's uh, a great thing because now I want to find out more and what it's really about. So... Let's listen to this song. An August night and the leaves hanging down and the grass on the ground smelling sweet. is very good storytelling again you know um very visual and speaks to the senses you really you're going on on a hot august night uh i really like the cadence of leaves hanging down grass on the ground uh there was a really interesting melody in his voice and uh, now he just started to take off with a little bit more grit and a slight rasp even in a, in his voice and I really love his melodic approach to this, because uh, everyone knows brother loves show. Uh, I I like that cadence. It's, it's a really nice rhythm. It's easy to listen to, which helps the storytelling, and and the music is also a great companion when this is about like a uh, a tent meeting tent revival. I don't know too much about it. We don't really have it here in Belgium. Is that a thing? uh that is only in the u.s i'm not sure if it happens in other places as well if uh, i don't know i don't know too much about it only from what i've seen on on television and stuff um but you can see it in front of you that tent and it clearing because he said there's no trees around you know it's very visual and you hear he's even talking about the sound of the gospel beat but then the music sounds like this type of uh you know uh I don't know if you call it church music gospel that's what that's what you would call it right uh the gospel beat uh i'm i'm not really a uh i don't really know a lot about gospel uh i'm not a connoisseur that's what i want to say <laughs> you come with the fancy words uh i don't know too much about it and but i do know that little bit of sound that quality uh to identify it uh a little bit mm, that's a great story man just you could see it right in front of you. everybody's going everybody's going and he's basically brother loves going from town to town then with this tent i never really knew that yeah i always seen the tent on tv and i never thought i don't know why that they move around with it of course it makes sense it's a tent just like a carnival or a circus i never knew i was to imagine that it was just there see how that happens uh ask questions be curious that's what i always do and in this instance i've actually never considered that for some reason wow i just uh exposed myself dang
find yourself two good hands. And when your brother is trouble, you gotta reach out your one hand for him. Cause that's what it's there for. And when your heart is trouble, you gotta reach out your other hand. Reach it out to the man up there. Cause that's what he's there for. Take my hand in yours. Walk with me this day. In my heart, I know I will never stray. It's already done. Wow, that doesn't happen too often when you just like, whoa, snap out of it and you hear the music fading away and, and your brain says, whoa, what's happening? Uh, that's a good thing. That's a good sign. That means I was totally immersed into it. And and a very big part of it is that, you know, that delivery of, of his, the really smooth, melodic way this sounded. I loved his flow in this and um a very you know catchy chorus really you know everybody's welcome but everybody wants to go it seems that brother love is a very enigmatic person you know some people have this aura around them they said he the room gets still when he walks in right you can hear yourself sweat even you know everybody's quiet everybody's looking at him you're drawn to this person and when we've all met or seen people who have that type of aura they walk into a room and it changes the atmosphere even temperature maybe and when they speak you listen you hang on to their lips it's it, it's incredible i've met a few of those people and it's it's quite yeah it's magnetic it's yeah it's it's all of those things it's even seductive it's you don't it, it's a weird feeling to describe and you're just looking at them like uh <laughs> but I love the way he built it up too. Like, you know, he built up the sermon lyrically in the description. Like first he starts off slow and then when he really gets into it, the valley is shaken. And then he goes into his sermon and talks about how to reach out for somebody when he's down and grab you up. And it, it all was, it's all there in this one song. Mm, he even implemented a sermon in, in the middle of the song, which is really great. Uh... And as far as I have read, Neil Diamond is actually Jewish. So that's a great um, um, counterpart to the writing advice that a lot of people get or give both um, to write what you know. I've gotten it. I've given it. It's a good one to start with, but it's definitely not necessary to really uh, go and take a stab at it. As long as you're respectful, you do a little bit of research and you feel it and you go at it and uh i think that's great in my honest opinion so yeah that was really well well written and then combined with the music and uh, the vocals man cool cool song and uh looking forward to more neil diamond and just checked out two duets now i think one is blocked uh the other one is up on the channel and hope to explore some more and all recommendations are welcome thank you so much for this request thank you for being here spending some time with me uh and hope to see you in the next one goodbye